What's up, you tango to duckins? It's Thursday. Today, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. So I was doing some schoolwork yesterday, and in the background, I like to have some, either a podcast or videos going on in the background. And one thing that I heard that I related to a lot was in this generation, in this society, we often care too much about what other people think. And how I'm going to relate that today's, to today's video is we often care too much about how other people are struggling. You can't compare your struggle to anybody else's for a couple of reasons. Now, I've talked about how people use social media as a diary and they go on there and, you know, they complain about whatever it is they got to complain about. And you can look at these posts and one of two ways. You can scroll right past it, or you can look at it and go, oh, that person has no idea what I go through. Now, the ideal way to deal with it is just scroll right past it. The more ideal way is to throw your phone out the window and not be scrolling through anything, but uh, this smartphones are an addiction just like anything else and it's hard to just do that what we don't want to do is take anybody else's situation and compare it to ourselves a lot of people deal with things in different ways a lot of people don't know how to deal with things but when you take your situation and put it up against somebody else's you're doing two things and that's you're not giving the other person credit and you're taking some time away from handling what you have to do don't think about anyone else when it comes to you handling your business. Do it because you have to do it. Take the necessary steps that you need to take to handle what you have to handle. Nobody else is gonna do that for you. Nobody's gonna hold your hand and walk you through it. Nobody's gonna give you the step-by-step -step directions of how to do what you have to do. You have to face the adversity and find a way to get through, one way or another. A lot of us uh, want to find an easy way out. A lot of us want to find the quickest and easiest way to make money or fix your problems. It's not just going to fall out of a tree if you shake it. You have to climb that tree and pick the fruits of your labor all on your own. And one thing that's going to stop you from doing that is comparing it to somebody else's struggle. Comparing your problems to somebody else's problems. Basically throwing your bravado against somebody else's in the form of downfall, in the form of struggle, in the form of hard times. Why is that something you should be proud of anyway? You shouldn't be. You should be hard pressed to get past these things. You should want better for yourself. You shouldn't want to get in a bragging match with anybody else about the things that you're going through. If anything, you want to reach out and try and help that person or encourage them and let them know that things can get better. Don't doubt that somebody else's struggle is a struggle for them. Obviously, if it's affecting them enough to where they're going to post it on social media, then they're going through a hard time. Don't tell anybody that they're not going through a hard time. Don't belittle anybody else like that. I say it all the time. We're all in this together, believe it or not. And if helping other people is something that helps you get through, then do it the right way. Don't do it in a way that makes them feel like their problems aren't big enough. Look at your problems like they are big. So when you do overcome them, you feel more championed. You feel more successful. You feel more accomplished. And then, and only then, if you become, if you become acquainted with the other person, that's when you should compare. By saying, look at what we got through. Look at where we're at now. Just a little food for thought. And while we're at it, leave a comment. Let me know something you're struggling with. Maybe it's something that I've been through. Maybe there's something I can shed some light on. I'm here to help. Not only am I spreading the health, I'm spreading the love. Click the link in the description. Leave a donation for the Healing Meals Foundation. I'm fundraising for the Healing Meals Foundation for the Hartford Half Marathon. It's a foundation that's based in that Bloomfield area that donates food and meals to families in the Hartford and Bloomfield area. Thanks for taking the time out of your morning to uh, sit and talk with me. Hope you all have a blessed day.